Live in downtown Detroit, Local 4 live stream with Jason Carr starts now. Welcome to the 9.15-ish, Jason Carr Live. How are you? Here on a Thursday morning, another uh, sunny start to the day in downtown Detroit and parts beyond, and heading to another, uh, not sweltering, but certainly hot day. It's, it's supposed to get up to 83 today. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Not bad at all. Google kicked off its annual developers conference yesterday with a sneak peek of several new services. The next version of Android, which is made available to the mass market later this year, will aim to gauge and control how much battery life your apps are using. But this is the cool thing, is Google Lens, which we're looking at right now, where you can literally, oh, let me pull that back a second, where you can use your phone's camera and point it at a restaurant and all the Yelp reviews are going to pull up. You can point it at a flower and it'll tell you exactly what type of flower you're looking at. Uh, it's, it's just got a lot of really cool things that, that we've been expecting at some point would come around, but uh, not this soon. Really neat stuff. And that's going to be unveiled um, this year? I believe so, yeah. Google Lens is the one that I'm real excited about. Over the years, we've seen some horrible types of jeans, but these might be the worst. The company opening ceremony has created detachable cutoff front jeans. <laughs> I mean, they're hilarious. What in the world is going on here? <laughs> what are these? Yeah. I'll put that back up there full. What are we looking at here? You know, it, it's cold in the morning, and later on, you need more mobility, and uh, you, you take off the legs. And look at this. Then you're styling. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Put it back up there full. Give people a chance to catch up to this story. <laughs> you know, they're going for only $425. So just a little bit, a little bit of money and you got them. Just a little bit. That's, you know, like a week's worth of work. <laughs> <laughs> this is the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. <laughs> well, I'm guessing they're selling like turtle soup isn't. Huh? You know how they say they're selling like hotcakes. Well, you know, the opposite. It's, yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> sharks swim a little too close to shore for comfort in uh, South Carolina. Myrtle Beach. Myrtle Beach. Hi. Uh, good morning, here. everyone. I'm Mike Soka with NASDAQ. Yep. And, what was that? Uh, they had a different something open in the, the background, but... They're pretty close to the beach. I mean, you see these people. You see, like, just a little bit down the ways, too, they'll show it. There's people swimming in the water just a little bit further down the beach. I wouldn't be anywhere near that. No. You know why? Because these, these sharks, they've got black eyes, like a doll's <laughs> eyes. Uh, the eyes roll over. All that <laughs> chomping and the hollering. <laughs> Bosun's mate, <laughs> bobbing like a top. Uh, um, that's how many sharks? There was at least five, from what I understand. Rich and compelling. Now this. Are they wake surfing? It, it appears that there's a, a motor on the back of these because it doesn't look like there's a rope pulling them. No, there are. It looks like they're wake surfing, but it's. Uh, oh, so they're in the wake of the boat. Right. Mm -hmm. Doug doesn't even look like he knows what's going on. No. Where did you find this? Oh, you know, around. But I love this. The dog is like, you said this was going to be fun. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Thanks for checking us out. Uh, Penobscot River Monster. Not the Penobscot building, but the Penobscot River in Maine. Is this actual video of a Loch Ness style serpent in the water of the Penobscot River? Experts say no, but as a producer, I say maybe. 
Well, it's moving. What do you think it is? Uh, it could be a log. It could be a duck. Or, or it could be a river monster. Or it could be a river monster, exactly. It, it, you know, the possibilities really are uh, endless, as far as your imagination can take it. But I didn't know there was a Penobscot River. That's pretty neat. Neither did I. There's always a Detroit connection. Always. Uh-huh. Or Michigan. Always yep. a Michigan or a Detroit connection. Now, Ken, he's usually our, our local four monster affiliate or uh, correspondent. Uh, aficionado. Yep. And uh, he agrees it could be a monster. I, I agree. I'm on Ken's side with this one. Randy Jane says, looks so legit. She might be referring to the jeans. Oh, uh, yep. Because <laughs> those jeans were legit. Can we go back to the jeans? <laughs> okay. Now... This is wrong on so many levels. Um, first of all, those are mom jeans. They absolutely are mom jeans. I mean, we're talking like straight up mom <laughs> jeans. So with the exception of a little bit of under cheek peeking out there, there's literally nothing sexy about this photo at all. No, no. And even as cutoffs, they look kind of strange. Like the weird back part hanging down? Well, not just that, but I mean, can you take it full again? There's a. Uh, it's unflattering, shall we say, mm -hmm. in a. There's a two word term that we won't get into, even yeah. though we have no restrictions. We, we just won't go Still, there. Still, yeah. Um, yeah. What do you think? Let's read some comments. Let's uh, stick with the jeans for a minute. You can just keep cycling back and forth. Now, for four hundred and twenty-five dollars, was it four seventy-five? I think four twenty-five. Four twenty-five. That's it. Christy mm -hmm. McGee says, "Oh my, g -g 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 -g. <laughs> OMG, those jeans are scary," says Helen. Trashy, according to Buffy. Ew, nasty shorts. Uh, Kelly Sewell. Uh, those are not mom jeans, Jason. Well, uh, I mean, if they were whole, they would be. <laughs> um, they also sort of look like Seinfeld for women. Okay, yeah. You know what I mean? Remember how Jerry wore jeans with the yeah. with the, te the white tennis shoes? And he never wore a belt. <clears throat> they're not wearing a belt here either. And they look awful long. Like, maybe they're not, they don't, the they don't fit part, this person. The weirdest part is how you can see the skin. That's the weirdest part. Like... It's, it's not even protecting your, yourself from drafts and all the wind. Autumn says, apparently, unironically, I'd wear them. Yeah? Alita is calling them Daisy Dukes. <laughs> would, Daisy would not have worn them nasty jeans. <laughs> Incredible. Ed doesn't think so. Deborah says, those jeans are ew. Tracy says, the jeans will be out of business very soon. Sorry, Dan. You're all right. Don't they need pleats to be mom jeans? Wow, I, don't think so. I don't know. Is that is that right? Did ah. jeans have pleats? Some did. Yeah. I don't think so. I, I I always thought of mom jeans as just being sort of roomy and comfortable and pulled up a little bit higher. A little high. Def, mm. Definitely not low rise, tight fit. You know. No. You know my. You know what? Wasn't it uh, Earl Warren who said that he knew? You couldn't define pornography, but he knows it when he sees it. Yes. Can't really define mom jeans, but I know them when I see them. That's, yeah, brilliant. Looks like she's going to a rodeo I don't want to be at. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Andrea Giannetti Russo. Andrea Giannetti Russo. I think we have our new name, John. Russo. Russo. Andrea Giannetti Rousseau, Francesca Catanese. We have a, a name hall of fame on this show. What was uh, what was her name? Love. Um, was it Christy Love? No. No. Uh, it was Get Christy Love was the name of it. What was her name? Oh, what was it? Bacon Nation, help us out. What was her name? Yeah. Andrea Giannetti Rousseau. Russo. So I have a definition here for mom jeans. Oh, courtesy uh, of Dustin. The style usually consists of a high waist. I said that. Making the buttocks uh, appear disproportionately longer, larger, and flatter. Uh, it also tends to have excess space in the zipper 
and the jeans are usually in a solid light blue color with no form of stone washing or fading. <laughs> Jason Colthorpe says the rating of our show has been changed. It's the interwebs. There are no ratings. I could drop an F-bomb right now if I wanted to. Do it! Do it! <laughs> Do it! <laughs> I wish you could see his face. He's Do so it. tempting. Treasure love. Treasure love. That was it. Courtesy of the Coleman's. <laughs> um, Buffy O'Keefe is laughing up a storm. Uh, this is this is great. A Melbourne, Australia pet adoption agency posted a darkly hilarious memo about a cat named Mr. Biggles daring a future owner to take him in. As you look at the full screen, Mr. Biggles is also known as Lord Bigglesworth and is described as an utter bastard, a despot, and a dictator. Now I printed off the entire letter. Should be at the bottom of your stack there. Uh, yeah, it's pretty harsh. He does have a secret soft side, but to be clear, um, he does not like to be thwarted. He throws a catty tantrum if he can't go outside when he wants to be let out. He will let you know he is not happy, which is often because things uh, are just not up to his high standards. He likes his cuddles on his terms and will sit in your lap when he decides it's time. If the stroking is not up to his standards, he will nip you. Well, hopefully that letter works and uh, he gets adopted here soon. And we've got an update from yesterday's story about the giant cat. Uh, really no update, but I have video, so I thought it would be kind of neat to see, uh, see what this cat looks like when it's in motion, you know, how it gets around. So big. It's an enormous cat. It looks so much bigger than 30 pounds. You know how Joe Biden, back in 2010, leaned over at the podium and said to President Obama, this is a big effing deal? Mm -hmm. He would say of this cat, that's a big <laughs> cat. That's a, that's a big cat. Barack, that's a big, that's a big cat. cat. What are the uh, El Diablo? Someone in Virginia was having trouble with bears getting into their garbage, but devised a strange but effective method to discourage them. What is, is that a creepy clown? That's a creepy clown. And, uh, you know, when I first saw the video, I thought, well, okay, I don't know why this, why this bear's gonna be afraid of this just stuffed clown, but it's uh, motion activated. Motion activated. Yeah. Does it do anything? Mm-hmm. I think there's sound, too. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> yeah. The moment those eyes light up, it is out of there. Okay, so here's the bear. But Yogi... I wonder what's in this garbage can. I'm just, I'm just a bear. Just a... <laughs> that is funny. One more time with the bear. It's weird. You see this? Are you watching this live? People keep saying they keep getting booted off. We don't have any control over. Actually, Facebook. I'm having the same issue on my phone. Uh, Mine's just frozen. I'm it's guessing frozen it's, on an image. it's something that's wrong with Facebook, uh, with with their programming. Um, it looks like it's working okay on the desktop. Kind of, actually. Maybe it's having issues too. Well, it's not on our end. It's on Facebook's end, I guess. Zuckerberg always trying to take a Zuckerberg. <laughs> Buffy says, yeah, she got booted, too. Uh, a restaurant employee in China bussing tables with incredible speed was caught on camera, and it's rather incredible. It's pretty fast. What's with a little spin there at the end? That's uh, like a professional good. golfer that knows yeah. that he's pure to shot right to within two feet of the pin. Those Just are sty sure. style points. Yeah. yeah.
Stephanie wonders if it's problems with high winds. She's flipping from Wi-Fi to 4G. Yeah, Facebook always has a problem, Charles. It's, it's, it's because they're always updating and trying new stuff, and it just, some of them work, some of them don't, and then we're stuck in the middle. Psst, John. Yeah. That's a big cat. <laughs> Uh, wants to know if this guy cleans houses. Um, well, this is in China, so you'd have to fly him over here. <clears throat> Baseball season is going strong, which means minor league teams are firing up the weird food in an attempt to fill seats. The Fresno Grizzlies, a AAA affiliate of the Houston Astros, I know it's funny, listen, uh, <laughs> introduced the chickle, which is basically a pickle filled with hot chicken. I, you know what? This looks awesome. I'd, I'd totally try this. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, it's about changing the way we think about sandwiches. You don't absolutely need bread. You could use a pickle. Can, you, can we see it full? Mm hmm That there's the chickle. Chicken in a pickle. How did you find this? Uh, this was on Mashable. Um, and this is, I think, a kind of a common thing in, in uh, AAA ball where they're trying to get people in and then do stuff, stuff yeah. you know, just weird always, food. Always. They're good at that. But hopefully this one goes mainstream. And uh, it's got potential. It's, it's, got, got, it's definitely got potential. It's like a taco, but it's a, it's a pickle. It's a chickle. Um, Yes, Andrea. Andrea or Andrea? Uh, you have made the name Hall of Fame. Jeff Power says, I dislike pickles. No. Those would be three words that oh. I had never spoken before in my entire life until I just quoted you, Jeff. And I've never written it either. Now, I, I, I was out to eat t two nights ago, and we had, uh, there were some pickled vegetables out there. And I was thinking, well, I have had quite a lot of pickled things, but there are other pickled things I haven't. Like, I've never had a pickled egg. I've never just even been interested in trying that. Or like pickled herring. What about never, a deviled egg? Or a de uh, well, a deviled, but uh, there's so many pickled versions. You can pickle anything. I was going to say, yeah. there's almost anything you can pickle. <laughs> well, our live viewership is going all over the map because people keep getting kicked off. <laughs> I thought it was my, my you know, pickle uh, or the soliloquy. Turtle soup. That's the turtle was. soup, that's what it was. <laughs> Andrea Gianetti Russo. Russo. You say Russo, I say Russo. <laughs> Andrea Gianetti Russo. I would like to try that. It looks like it like, would be some good eats. Mm -hmm. Hey, did you hear about that Starburst dress? An artist named Emily Selhammer, Seilhammer, Seilhammer, recently completed work on a dress made entirely of Starburst candy wrappers. Uh, the dress took her four years to make. She says Starburst have a special meaning for her. She says she met her husband when he offered her a pack of Starburst a few years before the project started. It's really incredible. I, you know, and I've seen people do that with where they fold them the special way and they can they can weave it together. A lot of Starburst. A lot of Starburst. There's a lot of lemon, you know, and that's that's the worst of the flavors. The dress looks cool though. It's very impressive. And you'd think like, oh, it's paper. Maybe it's you know, gonna dissolve in the rain, but it's wax paper, so it's probably okay. I love this. Um, Minnesota baseball team, the St. Saint Paul Saints, just named its new pig mascot Alternative Fats. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you gotta love minor league baseball. <laughs> After Kellyanne Conway's infamous comment about Alternative Facts earlier this year, of course, that's kind of like being sort of pregnant or almost pregnant. You're either pregnant or you're not, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so a fact is a fact. There are no alternatives to a fact being a fact. A fact is a true statement. There's not an alternative version of that statement that's true. So alternative fats. Saints ponder getting rid of swine. Instead, unveil alternative fats as new ball pig for 2017. <laughs> well, and some of the old names that they had... 
in previous pigs were just incredible. What do we have here? Uh, Little Red Porkette, Stephen Cole Boar, Borak ah. Ohama, Kim Lardashian, <laughs> and I think they also had one named Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can we go back to the uh, detachable jeans? Yes, we can. Fashion company creates detachable jeans. Over the years, we've seen some horrible jeans, but these might be the worst. The company opening ceremony has created detachable cutoff front jeans. Uh, they can be worn two ways. You can wear them as full-length trousers, <laughs> slacks, or you can detach the legs of the jeans and wear them as denim shorts. Oh, and by the way, they are $425. But most of the time when they have detachable stuff like this, they, uh, they use zippers. Here it, it just looks like the, I don't know, if it's a button or it's a strap. It doesn't look comfortable either. Yeah, it really doesn't look comfortable. You know somebody's going to um, reinvent these or repurpose these. They'll buy a pair and then distress Mm -hmm. That the opening, the seams or whatever, to make it a little avant-garde, shall we say? That's that's what I think. Is what all happen. the kids are wearing at the festivals in a couple years? The uh, the uh, men's romper. Oh man, that's everywhere too. That's, that's it's been everywhere now. spotted it's all in over. the wild. Not th not, not this. The not the that. men's romper. Mm -hmm. It's funny too how how like a lot of times. We'll, we'll talk about these things early in the morning, that, that romper, and then or later in the evening, I see it everywhere on the internet. It's like, it's like they were watching our show to find out what was going to happen. Sure. Vicky, uh, Vicky Sykes, are you talking about, was that Klaatu? K-L-A-T-U, Klaatu? Buy a pair and use it for building insulation. Hmm. That's an idea. Everything okay over there? Hello. Check, check. Yep. Uh, we may have a police chase uh, underway here soon. Um, All right. Chopper's hang, going up, so we can hang uh, out for that. We'll know what's going on here soon. Stephanie Collins says, "That's why I watch." That's not a Buick. That's what I told him. Judy says she'd rather go to the casino and drop money than buy those jeans. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes, a police chase that we are uh, awaiting further word from our assignment desk. Yeah. Chuck, we have a police chase going? Started in Westland in Detroit. 110 miles per hour, this police chase. Unsure of uh, their progress or where they're. Plot two, Verata, neck two. Jacob is taking over so John can go find out what's going on with this police chase that we've just received word uh, started in Westland and now apparently is in Detroit reaching speeds of 110 miles per hour according to scanner traffic. As you can hear, probably over um, behind me is the assignment desk, and click on Detroit.com. The producers sit right here with the assignment desk, and I'm on the other side of this right here. There are two individuals on the other side here who are going to be um, updating, sending push alerts, and writing articles in real time as we hear back here from uh, assignment editor Chuck, who's uh, working the phones and listening to the police scanners try to figure out uh, where this police chief is police chase is headed as uh, Chopper scrambles into the air to uh, establish visuals. So this is actual developing news, how it really goes down here in the newsroom. 
So you're going to hear probably from time to time people uh, shouting things out back here over my microphone. Well, that's kind of what this is all about. I mean, this is 2017, post social media, post post modern everything else. That's right. I, I've got one ear on that, one eye on this, so looking at your comments. Ninety six in Wyoming is the last intersection I heard. Breaking news in the Local 4 newsroom, we have a developing police chase situation that uh, apparently, we have not confirmed this, but uh, first reports say that it started in Westland, has progressed into Detroit. Uh, last we heard just now, Wyoming, 96, uh, that area. And uh, earlier we had a report of speeds reaching 110 miles per hour. Now, whether that's involved in the chase or how far, how, how fast the, the fleeing car was going, we're not sure. What's that, Chuck? While we await word on this, Sharks swim a little too close to shore for comfort in South Carolina. A man fishing on a pier says he shot video, which, if we take it full, there are at least five sharks. If we take it full. Uh, edging closer to the shoreline, near enough to prompt warnings from people on the pier to swimmers to get out of the water. Well, that's pretty close to shore. I mean, that's look at those people right there. Yeah, and I mean, John was saying it appears there are at least five of them. And if you look, I'll show a little later in the video. Down the shore, there's some people in the water. That, that makes me a little uneasy. I wouldn't be anywhere near them. There's no sharks. They can get moving. And if they're that close to land. Did I ever tell you about the time that I was, uh, this was down in Pensacola in Florida? Southbound on Evergreen, just south of 96 for this car chase, this police chase that we're monitoring. Uh, when I was a teenager, I, I thought I saw what was a like a surfboard or a pair of water skis or something out in the water, and I went wading out to get them. This was in the Gulf of Mexico. And one of those big manta rays came out of the water, like, at me. Oh my God, you want to talk about freak. You know that internet photo of, of a ray behind the two girls, and they're like, ah! That was me, but running in the other direction. How close did it get to you? Close. It was like right here. That's crazy. That's crazy. Those things, you don't realize how big those man are. I just heard an all units call over the police scanner. We are getting ready to go live on Local 4. So if you turn your TV on right now on Local 4 on WDIV in mere moments, you will see Evrod going live from the newsroom with whatever the latest information that we have uh, is at this time. Um, they caught him on foot? Chuck. It would appear that um, we have a report, unconfirmed as yet, that the fleeing 
uh, the two in the car that, uh, who were fleeing from police got out on foot and apparently were apprehended. Still waiting to confirm that. I mean, you're witnessing developing news as it unfolds in an actual newsroom. Telephone calls, scanners, people running to and fro. It's always exciting, but, you know, three quarters of the time it doesn't work out. We don't get there quick enough. The chopper is only so fast. You know, I didn't realize helicopters have a top speed. All helicopters. I don't think they can go above 400 miles an hour or something just because of physics. Well, haven't you seen Blue Thunder? He does an entire loop-de-loop. <laughs> That's impossible, says Malcolm McDowell after, as it's happening. <laughs> With Roy Scheider at the controls. Are they, did they catch him? Just what we said. Uh -huh. Two in custody. They bailed. Tried to get away on foot, and they were apprehended. Uh, sounds like in the area of Evergreen and 96, or just south. As you just heard, Chopper is about seven minutes away. So uh, we'll see if we get any video of that for the TV. Vicky says the sharks and jeans are more exciting to me, and of course, Jason's beard. Mm. It, but it's no match. I have to keep it trimmed. John does not. No. John can go full-blown um, Grizzly Adams if he wanted. <laughs> Which you did at one time. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. How come you've some... never saved that picture then, and then shown it on this? We'll pull it up for tomorrow. We'll, uh, we'll show, show you know, that off. You know how Tom Hanks looks at the end of Castaway? Yeah. <laughs> John... John's official email photo here at the station looks like Tom Hanks at the end of Castaway. It is is frightening. Absolutely frightening. All right. A um, little something called Live in the D today. We have uh, Brian McKnight joining us. We've got Lou Ferrigno, TV's original The Incredible Hulk. And I didn't wrap this soon enough because now we have a ladder on a metal cart being pushed over ceramic tile. You always wonder how much, uh, <laughs> yeah, they've got to be able to hear that. We're so close to getting through it. So close. <sighs> yep. Is there more, is there a more nerve jangling sound than a, the, an aluminum ladder on a metal tube cart being pushed across a hard ceramic floor <laughs> with rickety wheels? in the middle of a almost breaking news situation. All right, we'll see you on TV in uh, eight minutes. Stay classy, Detroit.